Okay, hey guys. It has been a long time since I've sat in front of a camera. I've been going back and forth with how to even talk to you guys. I wanted to be my most authentic self. I've always been that. Um, with YouTube or any type of social media, I try not to share a lot. But I feel like in this instance, it's necessary for me to kind of just tell you guys certain things. Um, I owe you guys an apology and I'm just going to tell you guys everything in this video. So here we go. Okay, so with, let's start off with my YouTube. With my YouTube, I, I have YouTube and I have um, two Instagrams. I have my personal Instagram, Tura21, which you guys all know about. And then I have my Sickle Cell one, which is putting up with Sickle Cell. Um, with me, I just got really inconsistent and then I would be consistent again and back and forth and back and forth and then I finally knew what I wanted to do and I got some really shocking news and basically you guys all know I'm divorced and that has been like a back and forth situation as far as um, him being the person I want him to be for our son. Um, and then I had a girlfriend of his or whatever hit me up and I just thought that wow like it was a really invade of my privacy as far as like her going to in like uh youtube and like pretty much watching everything about me and then like to tell me like oh i watch this and this and that and you're such a strong but just whatever you know so i thought it was like a real invade of my privacy i was going through a lot at that time and i felt like you know of course you know i always say you know i make these videos even if it's one person two person but realistically if you're making a youtube and you're sharing your life or you're on snapchat or whatever it's in the hopes that more people view it and they appreciate it and i just felt like what am i doing this for you know i wanted to tap into just more than sickle cell and i wanted to do fashion and just d different things that you know make up who i am as a person and i felt like my privacy was breached but i couldn't be mad at anyone because i was posting i mean youtube is for everyone i don't get to see like on instagram like if someone likes their photo you get to see who likes it on snapchat you can see who viewed it on youtube you cannot do that it's kind of just like you know you know that people from india and england and china are watching your videos but you don't really know who so that was always a scary thing to me it's just like i never know who was watching me and i don't think i have many enemies out there but when I found out that it was her, I was like, yeah, like, yeah, I got to come off. I got to reevaluate myself. And I took that time to figure out what I wanted to do. What do I want my page to be about? What do I want to speak about? So for that reason, that is why I'm giving you guys my explanation. I don't really feel like I owe people that, but I owe my followers, my loyal followers. I think I have like 400 and something subscribers. And baby, let me tell you, it is not easy even getting one subscriber, okay? People who watch your video, that's easy. But to get someone to subscribe, that takes dedication. So I appreciate all 400 of you guys who did subscribe to me. Um, it was nothing personal. I know I owed you much more than just disappearing, but sometimes you have to. You know, when we think about like, not just like stars who like have mental crises, like people don't talk about mental health. And mental health is not saying, oh, I have issues. It's realizing that I'm not happy at this moment. How can I fix it? What is not making me happy? I'm a Cancerian, okay? Cancer is my zodiac sign. I'm not big into zodiac signs, but I'm big enough to know that I feed off of my emotions. I'm very in tuned with who I am and what makes me happy and what makes me sad. And YouTube was not making me happy because I didn't know what I wanted to do. I didn't know what I wanted to talk about. I didn't know how to get my viewers up and, you know, my subscribers and how to do this and that. And then I realized the more consistent I was, the more authentic I was with who I was, that's when I started to get more followers. And me being authentic is something I've never been fake about. I feel like people are either going to like you or they're not going to like you. And, you know, what can you do about that? People didn't like Jesus and he was pretty much perfect. Pretty much he was perfect. Um, so hopefully that gave you guys a little insight. I did it because I needed to take a break. I needed to focus on being a mother, um, a single mother at that. I needed to figure out what makes me happy. I'm still trying to figure that out. Um, as a person on a day-to-day -day base, I feel like growth is continual. It's not something that just happens sporadically. Um, and like I said, my privacy was breached, but it wasn't anyone's fault. I had no one to blame because my life is on YouTube. I just felt like, whoa, you know too much about me and I don't know 
anything about you guys. So I had to reevaluate, well, what do I want to share? What don't I want to share? You know what I mean? And I want to share everything for the most part because this is who I am. And I am a dreamer. I was talking to my mom yesterday and I go through these little things. Like I, I, I write poetry. So I was like in my head and I'm like, Katura, who are you? I've been asking myself that since I was like 10. Who am I? Now I know I'm Katura, my favorite color, da, 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 but it, who am I exactly? I had to figure that out. And woman to woman, okay, whether you're single, you're married, whatever, as women, we constantly have to figure out who we are. You have to figure out who you are if you're married. What am I to this marriage? If you're a mother, how, how do I play my part as a mother? And then you don't lose yourself. I, I know I talk with my hands. Um, and I didn't want to lose myself. That's always been my thing. Now that I'm single, I, you know, it, I worked hard to get to this point where I'm content. To get to this part where I'm happy. And it's like, how do I always be that? You know what I mean? For my child, for myself. So I had to figure that out and I had to take a break. Um, and that's really it. So this is me saying, like, I'm sorry for those of you who I've disappointed. I, I remember that there was this one girl and it, it actually hurt my feelings too. Um, she was a follower of mine um, from Sickle Cell and she like adored my relationship with my ex-husband and she found out that we were no longer together and she stopped talking to me based off of me not being with my husband. I was like, what? Like the, the moment where I felt like I needed people, I really didn't need anyone, but when you feel like you need someone and they're not there or they, they diss you or dislike you for a certain reason, like because I'm not with my husband, like that was crazy to me without you even knowing the backstory. And I shared certain things with her and I just felt like betrayed, you know, even sometimes by the community as far as sickle cell, I feel like we're not as pulled together as we need to be. And I've shared that before on videos, but of course they're all deleted, but that's just always been my personal thought. I know I've had sicklers who felt the same way, um, but it is what it is. You know, I can't really throw a stone without getting one thrown back. I mean, how often do I reach out to sicklers? And when I do, and I don't get the response that I want back, I get offended. And that was something that I went to New York over the summer and my uncle, he preached about it. And that was for me. I am easily offended and I, I'm not afraid to admit it. Like I, I'm the first one to unfollow, unblock. If you don't say something, I don't want you to say or whatever. And I had to work on it. I had to realize that people priority is not my priority. And that's what my uncle preached about. So if say like a lot of people, they get offended because they don't get invited to this party. Like Keisha may be your friend, but Keisha didn't invite you to her party for whatever reason. You're offended without even knowing the reason why. So I had to stop being like that. You know, if people stop following me for a certain reason, well, you know, my apologies. I didn't really do anything. So, you know, if that offended you, that's you. But I'm trying now to not take it so seriously when I don't have followers or I don't get the response I want, or I don't get the likes I want. It's life, you know? People always say you don't live for likes between you and I. I don't know how true that is because you wouldn't be putting up your pictures, okay? Let's just be real. But um, yeah, so that's that. Um, My YouTube is simply just gonna be whatever the heck I want it to be. It's gonna be about me sharing my journey as a single mother. Hopefully I'll find someone, you know, that the dating world is hard out here. I'm like, Jesus, I'd rather be by myself. Um, me just finding my health journey, drinking my water. You know, I've always shown my holistic ways. Um, I love lip gloss. I love fashion. I love makeup. I'm no guru, but just things that I like, reviews. I spend a lot of money, and I like to do reviews about it. I've had a couple of people when I used to do my videos, like, be like, oh, where'd you get this? Like, they'd see something at my house, and I would tell them, and they'd end up getting it and loving it. So... Little things that make Katura. Y'all like that, right? So I hope you guys stick with me on this new journey. All my old followers, come back. New followers, come. Um, I'm never going to leave you guys again. I was literally sad over this whole situation. I was like, well, was there a better way for me to handle it? You know, maybe I shouldn't have deleted my YouTube. Like, should I have, you know, blah, blah, blah. I'm always in my head. Always in my head. But I feel like everything happens for a reason. Sometimes you have to hit restart in life and when you get pushed back, it always lunges you forward. So hopefully you guys can push forward with me and um, let's go on this ride, baby. It's the summertime, so let's have fun, okay? If you guys have any more questions on anything, 
I've always been an open uh, love letter, okay? I've always been one when people slide in my DMs and they ask me stuff or they write me on my emails. I'm very approachable. So you guys hit me up and um, hopefully you guys like my first video. So we'll see. Take care. Always follow me and I'll follow back. That was lame. Yeah. So take care. Thank you guys for following me. If you're not, get in tune with my Instagram. It is Tura21. I do snap and all that stuff and I'll leave it here. Okay? No long spiel.